So the first thing I want to do today uh, before we get into the edit is I want to fix up a little bit of the styling. So if you can take a look at the name and the created, how they're over more to the left than they should be, uh, we can just go ahead to our resources, JS, ages, admin, admins, index. Okay, and if we head up to where it's being listed, all we got to do is take out the PL3 from here and the PL3 from here, and that should fix all of that. Or actually, we'll take it out from where it is the name, and then we'll take it out from the created ad. Okay, so let's go back, refresh, and make sure that that's good. So go back, refresh. Okay, and that makes it much more aligned and looks a little bit more, looks a little nicer. The other thing I want to do is I want to change this timestamp, uh, the way that we have it in our roles page. So if we go to roles, you see that we have it set up in a, in a much more user-friendly way. So let's go back here, go back to admins. We'll head back to the text editor. And if we go to app, models, role, where we have the, the casted date, we can just copy this one and put it in our user file where it's already it already has casts. We can just do it like that. Okay. And now if we go back and refresh, then that should change as well. Okay, fantastic. So now what I want to do is create links for this edit button so that it'll go to the uh, basically the show page. So we'll go back to our browser. We can now close this one. Uh, we'll leave this one open for now, but we'll head down to routes web.php and here we can just copy paste and we're going to use root model binding and we're going to bind it to the user model. So user, admin controller, and now this will just be show. And now we can go to the admin controller and start working on that method. So we'll go down to show and since we're using root model, root model binding we can just pass that in here. So user will replace you, uh, ID and then we'll just bring in user. Make sure that's imported up top. Here we're going to put app models user and then we're also going to bring in that user variable okay so in here all we need to do now is return inertia render and then the page we're going to have is admin admins show page and then we're also going to pass in the admin. But since we're using the variable user, we're just going to use user as that variable. Okay. And the next thing we also need to do is now also bring in the roles. And I'm just going to call it all roles just to be explicit. Um, role. Make sure we import that all. We only have a few, so it's okay to put all here. And now we can go ahead and create this page. So we'll head down to our resources, JS, pages, uh, admins. That's the folder that we're using, admin admins. We can just create a new file and call it show.view. Enter. Now that that's open, we can actually just copy this show page from the roles folder. We'll just copy it and change it as we need it. So copy, paste, and the properties that we're passing in first of all is admin, and then the other property is all roles. So now we can close out the roles page, we're not using that anymore, and head up top and start working from the top to the bottom. So here we're going to change this just to admins. This one is going to be admin name. 
the function is going to be the same even though we haven't created it yet the name is just going to be the value for the role name will just be name name text all that stuff's the same form.name and then we can also put a disabled opacity 50 and we'll just copy that because we're going to be needing it in some of the other places and this opacity is just basically we don't want anybody to be able to fix or adjust those fields so certain things about the user we don't want them to change the only thing we want anybody to be able to change other than the user themselves changing their information is the role that's strictly all that we're allowing these admins to do any one of these admins okay so the next one will be here before we do that we need to add flex flex call okay now we can copy this whole class paste it under here and then it'll be a la uh, label for an email the name will be email the ID will be email the type will be email and we already have the opacity we have the email and then the errors will also be email let's also change this mt4 to mt2 and that should be fine so the next section will be for the created at this 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 created at we don't really need the input errors because we are gonna basically be filling them in but um it's fine uh, the value for this one will be joined this will be type text then now we can go ahead and put the uh, drop down for the role so we'll copy paste uh, we'll get rid of this error's message and then uh, let's see we need another div in here so the classes on this will be inline block relative and that's it okay open that up and now we can take this and bring it up now this label is going to be role the value is going to be role and then this we're just going to change to a select and we don't need the name or the id here but we do need a class and since there's a bunch of classes i'm just going to go ahead and paste them in uh, just to kind of make things go a bit quicker now we're going to have a v model equals form roles Then we're going to have two brackets here going to be zero and we're also going to add another zero and it's going to be dot name and the tab index equals one now for the option let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit okay so next to this option we're going to have a v4 we'll make some parentheses in here we'll have option index the key will equal index and we're going to bind this value so the value is going to be option name or I also need to put for option index in 
all roles because that's the property that we're bringing in from the controller this uh this right here this all roles okay so now after the value we need to have a selected field so the selected is just basically going to be whatever the current uh the current role is for that user so option dot name equals form roles and then those brackets again so zero another set of brackets zero and then dot name and in the option we're gonna say uh, we're gonna have two curly brackets and it's gonna be option dot name okay fantastic so now if we scroll down we have div uh, with the item center margin top this margin top is gonna be eight then we're gonna have the green button type submit class text we're gonna have ml four and opacity 25 form processing and then uh, this is just going to be update just like it is here it's fine we also need the danger button and this is going to go back to admin admins index okay and let's see let's head down we can keep admin layout we can get rid of the blue button so not using that get rid of it from here too and then we'll go down and now for the form it'll be name and then it'll be this dot admin name okay so we'll copy paste 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 so now this will be email this admin dot email and I need commas Okay, created at equals this admin dot created at, and then now this one will just be roles, and this will just be an empty array. So now, in order to get this to work properly, you notice that we didn't put this admin dot roles and we just left it as an empty array basically we what we want to do is merge the admin roles with the all admin roles the all roles uh, function um, property that we have coming in so the easiest way to do that and I'm sure there are others but for me this is what I found to be the easiest I created a lifecycle hook called created okay and then we do a check so if this admin roles which should always be true if we're on this page this should always be true but we're gonna do a check anyway okay so if this dot admin roles then return this form roles we're gonna push into this form into this full roles array we're gonna push this admin roles okay now the next thing is we're not going to be using this route but we're going to just we're just going to um we're we're going to comment it out for now just so that we can make sure that we're getting everything coming through on this page so we'll go back to our browser we'll actually we need to create links for this so let's go back to the index page first so the index.view and now for the green button we can just say uh, href equals parentheses and then it'll be route admin admins show and then we're going to pass in the admin ID and then everything else should be the same so now we'll let that compile we'll head over to the browser and we'll click refresh and now if we click let's say developer we should be able to go to the developer show page okay and there it is but we still need to make this so that we can't change any of this so let's go back to the text editor we can now close the index page 
and let's take a look at what's going on with our show. So we'll go up to the first one. And then we put the class as disabled, but we didn't actually put disabled in here. So we'll go ahead and put that at the end of this one, disabled. We'll put that at the end of this one, disabled. And then let's see, created at should also be disabled. And that should fix that. So let's go back. We'll refresh. And now you can see that those fields are disabled, so we can't make any changes to those, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, but if we click this, now we see the other roles that we have listed um, in, in the drop down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get this update to work. Uh, cancel. Let's make sure that button goes back to the index page, and it does. Okay. So now we can go back to edit. We'll go back to our text editor and we'll start working on the submit function. Okay, right here. So we'll go down and now we can go ahead and uncomment this. We haven't made this route yet, but we'll make it in a second. So admin, this will be admins and then this will be admin ID. And then again, we're passing in the form. So let's go ahead and make that route. We'll head back to web.php. And now the new route will be, we'll just copy and paste this one. Copy, paste. This will be patch. This will be update. And now we can add that new uh, function to the controller. So we'll come to the controller and then we'll head down to update. And in here, okay, let's pull this up first. Well, I like to do that. That's not mandatory. I just like to keep it clean. So first thing we're going to do is change out that ID for user. So here we're going to put app models user. And then we're going to grab that user variable. And we'll put that in here. And then we also need to add user. Okay. So we need to do a few things in here. The first is we're going to create a variable. We're going to call it role and it's going to be role where name is request roles. And these are the roles that we're pulling in from the, um, the in from the actual clicking of the button. Okay. So whatever we're selecting, this is the role that we're looking for. So roles, and then we need to add one more and we'll call this name. And then we're looking for the first one. First. Remember, we're we're looking for the for the first role, the first one with the name is the one that we're looking for, and that's where this is coming from. So if you go back to show and we take a look at that uh option, okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. The form dot roles the first of the arrays and the name and that's what we're pulling in and putting into this request okay so the next thing we want to do is have a couple of checks so if we'll say role name that's coming from the variable okay that we're looking for from the request if role name does not equal user and the user that we're pulling in okay the authenticated user or the the user that we're looking at is admin equals one okay so then it'll be user roles sync The role okay so all we're looking for is if the role name that we're looking for the request role if the name does not equal user meaning that the role name is is something like admin or moderator or developer okay and the user that we're looking at 
is admin equals one, meaning that they already are a, an admin, then the user roles sync the role that we're looking for so that we can go ahead and change their role. So if it's a moderator, we're, we can change it to developer. If it's developer, we can change it to moderator. And that's what that's all that that check is looking for. Okay, so the next one will be else if role name equals user and user is admin equals one okay then user roles sync role and user update is admin equals zero okay so now this one is saying if the role name okay the request role name is user and the user is admin equals one so essentially if you're on okay let me show you it'll be more clear okay so let's say the user the role that we're picking is user okay and they are already an admin so there you is admin equals one but we want to change them from a an admin to a user okay then we will sync the role that we have chosen and then we will update is admin equals zero because we are making them no longer be an admin. That's all that that check is looking for. Okay, so now we can return, redirect, route, admin, admins, index, with success, and then we're going to uppercase the words uh, so that we can put user name dot we'll open up single, single brackets we'll have a space and then it says has been successfully updated now I chose here to use the username in the success message and I didn't do it for the roles but if you want to this is a way that you would be able to do that to just customize each and every success message this is a way that you can do it okay so why don't we go back and refresh and see if this works so we'll refresh okay now we make developer let's say we'll try one of the new ones that we made new role update Okay, so developer has been successfully updated. If we go down to the name developer, okay, that's the name of our actual developer, we can say their new role is actually new role as opposed to being developer. Okay, so now if we, let's say we go back and let's say now we want to make them user and we can update and now they are no longer listed because they are no longer admins. The last thing we can change on here is to make these routes into resource routes like we did for the roles. So if we head back to web.php, okay, we can, let's say, just copy this one and then we'll change this to admins. We'll change this to admin controller, okay. And then we also need to add parameters because we are now customizing this route. So the parameters, parameters, and we need an array. So open that up. And now admins will equal user. And that's just, that's in the Laravel documentation for the resource routes. So instead of accept, we'll put only, 
and this will be index show and update because those are the only three functions that we're using okay so we can go ahead and comment this out and uh, let's go ahead and see if this works so we'll go back we'll refresh and now if we let's say try to change moderator we can go to the moderators page and now we can change moderator to let's say developer and we'll go ahead and update okay so now moderator is developer and our routes still work so now we can get rid of this and we can actually put this on you know just condense the line I just did that so that we can see it clearly okay and now we've cut down a couple of lines of code as well okay fantastic so in the next episode uh, we are gonna start working with the users okay and we are gonna be able to give them roles as well okay so I'm gonna leave it here I'm gonna make sure to push everything up to github thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time